In this lesson, we'll look at working with Visio shapes. Let's start with types of shapes. There are two basic types of shapes in Visio 2016, same as all the previous versions of Visio. There are shapes, as you know them. Here you can see there's a triangle, a circle, a hexagon, and a square. These are your typical shapes. In Visio, shapes are not just the traditional shapes that you see here, but there are many, many more shapes, and we'll get into those in much more detail in a later lesson. There are also another type of shape in Visio, and that is connectors. You see two examples here on the screen. There is the green connector here and the blue connector here. And the difference between the two is this connector is a solid line, and it is called a connector because it is connecting shapes. As you can see, it connects our circle to our square. On the left here is the blue connector. And this connector has a dotted line. There is no difference other than you can conform the connector to work however you want. So I can change this green connector to have a dotted line if I wish. And I can make this blue dotted line dotted connector a solid line. So you can adjust your shapes however you see fit. These are the different main types of shapes in Visio 2016. There are stencils and templates. Stencils are shape libraries, and they can be found in the shape window here on the left. We'll go over extensively the shape window in a later lesson. But as you see, if I select one of these stencils here at the top of the shapes window, basic flowchart shapes, for example, you see I get the shape stencil here below. The shape stencil includes a large number of shapes that I can add to my drawing. A template provides us a blank drawing, or with the Visio 2016 starter drawings, it can include an actual drawing, but a template provides us with a blank or a starter drawing with the stencil libraries related to the template type. So again, it's not like a word template that has a fill in the blank unless you're using a starter diagram. But the typical templates with a blank drawing space includes stencils here on the left that are related to that shape. For example, if I choose a basic flowchart type template, I will get the basic flowchart shapes stencil here on the left so that I can include basic flowchart shapes in my drawing space. And that's the difference between stencils and a template. Let's talk about finding more shapes. You can find your shapes here using your shape stencil menu at the top of your shape window. There are quick shapes. And these are shapes that are used frequently. You can add shapes to the quick shape stencil. Then you've got your basic shapes, basic flowchart shapes. You've even got cross-functional flowchart shapes here. If you want to find a shape and it's not in any of these shape stencils that come up in your template, you can do the more shapes option here. By selecting more shapes, the shapes stencil menu opens here and you can choose from multiple categories and various subcategories of additional shape stencils. These are not specific shapes, but shape stencils. When I select, for example, equipment general, the Equipment General stencil will be added to my list here. And if I select it, you can see my Equipment General stencil is listed below with multiple shapes in it that I can add to my drawing. Let's say that I can't find what I'm looking for in any of these menus. Or let's just say I can't seem to find it. I can do a search for a shape by selecting the search option here at the top of my shape window. If I'm looking for example for a star shape, I can type in star and any shape in our shape library that's related to star will show up below. As you can see in Visio 2016 there are many more star shape options from previous versions of Visio. So these below are all star related shapes. Going even further, if you can't find the shape that you need, you can do a couple of things. First, you could download a shape stencil from the Microsoft website or any other source that has a .vss 
or .vssx stencil file. You can download that into the My Shapes folder, which is located in your Windows document folder. The downloaded shapes will then appear in the More Shapes option under My Shapes Stencil within Visio. So if you go into More Shapes, and in My Shapes, if you were to save a file into your My Shapes folder, it would appear in this list here. And lastly, if you still can't find the shape you need, you can actually create your own shape. Check out our advanced course on Visio 2016 for a walkthrough of creating your own shape. We'll deal with that in that course. And that completes this lesson on working with Visio shapes.